Hello and welcome to this car review of this BMW i5 eDrive 40. So in this view we are going to have a look at the exterior, some of the options this car comes with and the interior of the car. This one is the brand new 5 series, it's the i5 so it's meaning the full electric one. It comes with full LED headlights, this is the M Sport package. So it has a bit more sporty bumpers, it comes with adaptive cruise control as well, and 360 view cameras. This 5 series is the sedan version and it's finished in Brooklyn grey, so it's a light grey color. It's finished with 21 inch individual BMW M wheels and it has the M Sport brakes as well. You can see here hiding behind the large wheels the blue calibers. A feature many new BMWs have is this lower seal in gloss black. Some like it, some don't. It will be prone to stone chips. And if we look in the rear of the car, this follows through on the rear diffuser in the gloss black. The i5 also have LED tail lights, as you can see here. Electronic tailgate. I'll show you more details here later on in the video. And this one is also finished with a panoramic sunroof. You can just see through the roof here if you look closely. The car is also finished with gloss black details and trim around the windows that end up in a BMW 5 Series logo as you see here. The 5 Series is the BMW flagship for uh, the family cars. This one comes in a touring model in just uh, one or two months. It is the premium sedan from BMW and uh, does not cater to everyone but uh, more of the premium level uh, and it has a price tag thereof. This one has the blue ring around the BMW logo indicating that it's a full electric car. It does also come in a plug-in hybrid and a regular diesel and petrol version. It will come in a full M version that is a lot more sporty with different bumpers and different design. The newer BMWs in their lineup has the M logo on the side fender as well. They started that about 10 years ago to indicate that it's an M Sport model, not necessarily an M model, but just an M Sport. Some of these 5 Series also come with the iconic glow grill. This one doesn't have it, but some has it and it will light up all the way around here and actually give you quite a good look on the road. From the outside, you can also see the head-up display. Overall, I think it's a beautiful looking car. The front is still not too convincing for me. I still like the previous generation a bit better, but the rear I do like very much. And the overall size of the car is, is good. It almost feels like a 7 series in the size. But let's have a look at the interior and take it from there. So first off, what greet us is a mocha brown interior with the M Sport seats and thigh bolster extensions. You have no door seals, uh, kick plates on the new 5 series that has been saved. And overall, the interior feels a bit more minimalistic. So here inside the i5 eDrive 40 
we see a lot of options so this car has been fitted with the Harman Kardon sound system it has fully electric seats door lock that are soft touch on the door card here we also have the window controls and the mirror controls they are of course folding mirrors if you look at the mirror you'll be able to see the triangle on the far side of it that is for the assistant driving system so uh, if there's a car in the blind spot this will light up electronic boot control sound system and here we have the lights currently set for auto lights and uh, some fog lights and the interior lights brightness if we look on the steering wheel we have the new style M Sport steering wheel we have the M logo in the bottom and this metal look it is plastic but it looks like metal you have the control here on the one side there's no control shift lever on the other side it's only on the left side it's uh, for boost mode so if you want to overtake uh, it's possible to do a bit faster you get a little more a little more power you have the cruise control settings over here and you have the radio controls over here as we if we move up from that you'll see here ahead the head-up display right there if we go to the central screen at the moment you'll see the 360 panoramic view, view of the car where you can choose individual sides of the car or if you want to see it from front or auto you can also go into the main menu here where you'll be able to choose between different apps you have Apple CarPlay, uh, Apple CarPlay Android Auto Spotify, messages, uh, all the system settings, key settings, radio settings, YouTube, camera in the cabin, weather instructions. Here you also find the HVAC system, AC, auto. You can have steering wheel heating, heated seat, ventilated seats as well in this car. When we go a bit further back, you'll see the ambient lighting in this kind of hexagon or diamond look bit unique looks very good just below that you have the defroster settings and you can uh, open and close the vents depending on how much airflow you want down here you have some manual ones where you can open and close them fully here you have two charging pads you have some cup holders here as well two USB-C's then we come to the center console we have the start stop button here the gear lever parking brake auto hold the iDrive controller that is see through volume button and uh, parking sensors different shortcuts to navigation media and so on we have a central copy here that is currently filled with the M key other than that there is a 12 volt outlet and that's about it these are the M sport seats in the dark brown mocha color you have a frameless mirror and this one is also fitted with a panoramic sunroof looks very amazing and gives the interior quite a light and open space feeling the steering wheel is uh, electronic adjusted and you can move it up and down by a press of a button and it will 
automatic set to the previous setting that you have set it for and uh, once you get in the car with that key fob it will automatically adjust to that si setting if we look at my leg room i have plenty of leg room here definitely no issue i have this thigh bolster as well so my seating position is very very good uh, i have nothing to complain about at all headroom wise i'm in my driving position at the moment currently looking straight into the front windshield my side view is very good very open cabin when you look around here uh, easy to see headroom is uh, very good 196 centimeters tall so definitely nothing to complain about here the door handle is part of the trim so you just pull here and the door opens this car is also fitted with comfort access as you can see here on the small lines here so you can lock the car and you can open the car just by having the key in your pocket oh, let's check out the rear seats so again you see the Harman Kardon sound system here so I have okay legroom nothing to complain about here you have a USB-C right in front of you and you have the possibility to fit some uh, BMW specific holders here so you can fit an iPad holder or whatever you wish that BMW makes so in the center here you also have two USB-C's and you of course have an armrest as well with two cup holders so legroom good let's see about the headroom so headroom is also decent it is a sedan version but i actually have four fingers of headroom so i think uh, two adults in the rear seats definitely not an issue at all uh, nothing to complain about here plenty of room for adult people um, putting three adults will be a squeeze but uh, a teenager and two adults is definitely not an issue so here in the trunk you can see how much room you have you have the charging cable here you have a copy space on either side you have some hooks here for tie down and this car is also fitted with a trailer hitch you have a small compartment here to fit some more cables or uh, yeah all of other small stuff you don't have room for a spare you only have the inflation kit you can fold down the seats for more room So when you get an M Sport, this is the key you'll get with the tri-colors, the BMW logo acting as the lock button. On the side, you can see you have the trunk opening, unlock and a special button that you can choose for yourself. Nice looking key, very lightweight and it feels very plasticky. It's not a high-end uh, key, definitely. Uh, I feel like my G20 key is a lot better. So, thank you for watching along on this review of the car. I personally like the car a lot. Uh, it drives very good. It's a good size for a large family. Its premium feel may not be as premium feeling as the old generation, uh, but it's still a 5 Series and have some of the feeling of a large BMW car. I will say electric Pre not uh, my preferred option um, but in Denmark it makes sense because it's uh, 30 40 thousand euros cheaper than the rest of the lineup so I think if you're in the market for a large premium sedan this is definitely a car to consider I think for the money you get a very high-tech premium car with seating for four adults and one teenager in the back um, 
I think it has all the safety you need in a car. It has a good driving feeling as BMW stands for. Yes, the quality is a bit lacking in some areas, whereas the previous gen felt a little more well built. But it is still a, a good build quality. Uh, but uh, you see some of the the materials they use further down in the car. They are a bit more plasticky um, and not, uh, not as soft touch and nice feeling as you would expect in, in some of the previous gen cars. Now on that final note, if this is a car for you or if you like this kind of car, definitely go out and test drive one and see if it's something that works for you. But with that end, thank you very much for watching along this video. Thank you for sh letting me showcase you this BMW i5. If you want to see more videos like this one, please hit the subscribe button and like the video so I know that this kind of BMW content is something that you would want more of. Have a great evening, take care.